Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very long awaited video. You guys are constantly asking me questions about what brushes I use and what my personal favorite brushes are. So today's video is all about my absolute favorite brushes and my absolute favorite brush brands. So if you are interested in hearing about some of my favorite brushes, then just keep watching. to know about me is that I use random brushes <laughs> all the time. I use high-end brushes, luxury brushes, and then I'll use cheap brushes from the dollar store. Whatever works, whatever is within reach of my hand, you'll find me using. I also do bridal makeup, so I have a separate set of brushes that I use specifically for that. I'm a brush hoarder. I don't get rid of brushes. I keep them because I find I always end up using them later on. Like, I'll find a different use for them as makeup trends go on. There's all these different uses for brushes. So I have so many. Uh, this video would be two hours long if I didn't do it the way that I'm doing it. So I am talking about my favorite brush brands with you guys and then I will be selecting a few of my favorites from those brands. Even though these are my favorite brush brands, there's definitely a lot of other brushes that I use and love, but I did want to shed light on my favorite companies themselves and just show you what I love from them. There's probably a billion and one other brushes that I could talk about, but I just use so many that it would overwhelm me. So this was the best way to do it. I'm going to be talking about Wayne Goss, Sonia G, Refer, Isam, and Blinged Brushes. Those are the top five brands that I chose. And we're going to start off with the brand that I'm probably the least familiar with, but I do have a set that I love. And that is Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss has a wonderful line of makeup brushes. I definitely am very interested in trying trying more. It's just my wallet might not allow for that. His brushes are quite pricey, but my philosophy with spending a lot on brushes is that they literally last you forever. Brushes are so important for application. Even though I'll use super cheap brushes, I definitely do notice a difference in use when I do use my more high-end brushes. It just feels softer. Sometimes it lays the color down better. Sometimes it picks up the color better. I love Wayne Gosh brushes. Now, I personally I have never purchased a Wayne Goss brush for myself. Just looking, he has a lot of wonderful brushes. He has a lot of wonderful shapes in his line. Definitely really need to try some of these out, just taking a look. But a subscriber last year was kind enough to send me the Wayne Goss The Eye Set and I have used this set nonstop. I love the length of these brushes. I love the way that they feel in the hand. And it's just a set of five different, like, blending brushes and they all work so incredible. I cannot have enough blending brushes so that is why I love this set so much and I think if you are interested in getting into Wayne Goss eye brushes specifically this is a great set to go for. It is $130 but these brushes are so sturdy so well made they're gonna last you forever. Currently it looks like on Beautylish this is sold out so I'm going to notify you on my community page when I do see See, these are back in stock. I'll put myself on the email list. If his brushes are like these eye brushes, they are super soft. They pick up the perfect amount of powder. And I just specifically for this set, I love the shape of the brushes and the sizes of the different blending brushes so you can really get a good blend in. In case you want to purchase the brushes individually, my most used are the number 20 right here because you can really get it into the lower lash line. Number 17 right here is the perfect size to blend out my color as a transition blend and then number 19 does a really nice job of putting in that deeper color so these three are my favorite but I definitely love all five so this is my recommendation from Wayne Goss because it's the only one I've tried but oh my gosh these brushes definitely are top of the line exquisite quality so now we're going to move on to Sonia G brushes I do have more experience with her brushes than Wayne Goss again I only own one set from Sonia G but I have tried her her other sets because my mom actually really loves Sonia G brushes so I've tried hers I've stolen them from her for this video just to talk about some of my favorites but the set that I do have is called the sky face set I actually did a whole video on that if you would like to see my thoughts on those but it comes with five face brushes again it is returning soon Sonia G is so hard to keep in stock uh, so you definitely have to jump on a release or a brush set when you want it so it comes with five brushes and I absolutely 100% recommend this kit right here. It is quite pricey, 270 I would say these brushes 
brushes are very similar to Wayne Goss as far as the level of quality. I love the different hairs that she uses in this set. Now my favorite brushes in this set have to be the mini cheek from the Sky Face set. It's such a unique shape where it's flat on one side and then kind of pinched on the other side. And I like it for highlighter personally. That's what I've been using for. It just really hits the cheek right where you want it. Super soft, picks up the perfect amount of that product. The soft cheek is a very universal brush. That is why I like it so much. This brush you can use for contour or you can use it for blush as well. It's not too dense of a brush so if you have a really pigmented blush this is the perfect brush to go for because it does not pick up too much product. It just very softly puts the pigment on the face without it being too much and without you having to go in and kind of blend it out. So I've been loving that brush but nonetheless I've been loving all of this. This whole set is absolutely incredible, but those are my two favorite from that set if you want to purchase them individually. Her regular kind of pro brushes come in the red handles, and like I said, these are my mom's, so I don't get the opportunity to use these every day, but some of my favorites that I would recommend. This is the Face Pro Brush. It's a big, fat, angled brush. Oh my gosh, I need to buy this for myself. I would love to own this, but I love it for bronzer. That's the only thing that I have used this brush for because it's so big and fat. It is perfect for that. I love the angle to get down through the cheek and kind of cut it. So beautiful and soft and it actually it's a little bit more, it's dense but it's soft but it really picks up the color well and allows you to really manipulate it when you're blending. The Detail Pro is also really nice if you like a really nice detailed highlighter. So if you have like a, I would say a loose highlighter that has so much shine to it, that is what I would use this for to really just get right there to get that really powerful beam. I really like that. I love Sonia G for her face brush. Brushes. I think she has the best face brushes. Her eye brushes are also very nice. She has some eye sets as well. But for me personally, Wayne Goss for the eyes, Sonia G for the best face brushes. Those are my recommendations for Sonia G. Let's move on. All right, so we are going to talk about refer brushes now. I think this might be my favorite brush brand. <laughs> I don't know, it's a very, very tight race, but generally just kind of as a whole, I think Refer has the best range of brushes. Now, the whole concept behind the brand is very, very unique. They have a prototype program where they're just testing out the shapes to see what the customers like, and then they'll put it into full production. You can really customize the brushes that you want. You can have this handle right here, which isn't my favorite. I feel like it gets a little bit dirty. It feels a little bit more cheap, but again, they have these handles right here. These are the handles that I personally like. You can get them shiny. You can kind of customize the length if you like a longer brush or a shorter brush. It's just a really neat brush company. The brushes are handmade in Japan. Sonia G and Wayne Goss are as well. They just have a very interesting range of shapes and sizes and they aren't afraid to play around and see what you like and what you don't like. They do send me their brushes. The owners of the company are super nice. It's just a really good company. Like if I were spending my money on this company, I would feel very good about where my money was going. It's going into the hands of good people who deserve it. I'm gonna talk about some of the brushes that I really enjoy. So looking at the website right now, it looks like if you buy any brush set, you can get the P22 brush. Now this is the best bronzer brush. If you are a fan of that original Tom Ford bronzer brush, this is as close as it gets. Now the prices of Refer are not super, super expensive, but they're kind of middle of the road. The brushes individually, yeah, they are a pretty penny, but most of the time they'll have really good deals on sets. So I would wait till like the holiday season or whenever they're having a deal. It'll be like, if you get this bundle, you'll get $100 off. Like they have really great deals so I would definitely keep an eye out on that before you actually purchase. I should have a code coming soon for you guys to get a set. I don't know the specifics right now because they're out of stock, I believe, of the sets. They're trying to get those made and going. Uh, but once I do have that code, I will put it on my community tab for you guys. I don't get any commission from it or anything. It's just a code to help you out. Uh, so I will definitely tell you when I know. The P22, I think if you order any brush set right now, you get this. And this brush is $110. So that's a good deal. This brush is so soft, but it's the perfect density. It's the perfect shape 
for bronzing up the face. I absolutely love it. It feels so expensive. It feels so luxurious. I love the size of this handle. Definitely one of my favorite brushes from them. This number four brush, which is an angled blush brush. Again, one of my most used brushes. I use it for blush all the time. I love the angle. I love just patting on my blush with this super soft, perfect amount of density. So the number four brush is one of my favorites. Number five, again, is a really great contoury bronzer brush. This is for when, when you want a fat brush for like really not very precise bronzer application. This is great, but when you want something a little bit more precise, this is a great brush. You can also apply blush with it as well. It's just a really universal shape that I really enjoy. By the way, their eye brushes are also killer. So the number three brush is just the tiniest little pencil brush. It is great for any kind of detail that you want. Really fantastic for getting in the lower lash line, for getting right here, or when you do a cut crease, you can really place that color to the edge of the concealer super close. This is a very unique brush. I don't come across pencil brushes this small, so if you're into detail work or you have really small eyes, this is a fantastic brush. The number two brush is one of my favorite flat shader brushes. It just packs that color on there perfectly. You can make it wet. It is quite stiff, but it's still soft at the same time. It's just one of those brushes that you use every day. This is a very classic shape that everybody's gonna use. I use this brush all the time. Specifically, they have two of my most favorite blending brushes of all time. The number 13 and the number 14. These are super small precision blending brushes. I have small eyes, I am half Asian, so I personally like a smaller brush that I can really blend as far as detail goes. And not to mention, because I do a little bit more intricate looks for my Instagram and my YouTube and things like that, these brushes are amazing. You don't know you need a small blending brush until you have it, and then you're like, how can I ever go back? So these are great precision blending brushes. I cannot get enough of of them. They're my mom's favorite as well. She has a lot of them uh, just because these are like the two most perfect shapes and I feel like a lot of brands really don't have brushes these shapes so these are amazing. You don't come across brushes like these every day. Definitely if you're gonna get two brushes from Refer, it has to be these. They're awesome. Great. So next we are going to talk about Esum brushes. Now Esum you can get on Muse Beauty Pro. They have sent me some brushes I have purchased some brushes. I can't tell you which ones I purchased and which ones I didn't, but just so you know, they have sent me some, but I've also bought some. Now, what I like about Esum is that they have different bristles. I would say that Refer, Sonia G, and Wayne Goss, they all have very similar bristles because they're all made in Japan. Uh, the Esum brushes are definitely more unique. The bristles are different, but that's a good thing. It's more variety, and I find my Esum brushes to be very heavy duty. Those are the brushes that I use in my makeup kit because they are constantly being washed and they just go through some wear and tear and these brushes are sturdy and they are going to last forever so that is why I prefer Esam brushes in my makeup kit as opposed to personal use but of course I use them personally as well but I just think they're such robust brushes that I also use them in my makeup kit so really quickly I've got to talk about my girl Michelle's set Michelle Wong did a collaboration with Esam and she curated her own brush set for them and she did a fantastic job. In this set you're getting five brushes. It is $125. It is currently on sale and I believe by Valentine's Day the set is done. That's the last day to purchase them. You need to get your hands on these because it's such a good set. She really curated some great brushes. So the first brush in here is the G34. This is one of my go-to everyday blending brushes. It's really fat, so it just gets in there and blends everything out really fast. The bristles are soft, but they still grab the product very well. I love this. And then for a little bit more precision, we have the S33, and that's where you'll put your outer corner color on it. And then you have two lid brushes here. We have the W23 and the W21. This is Mama Bear, this is Baby Bear. I love these in particular because I feel like they handle being sprayed with water very well. So when you want to wet a product or wet an eyeshadow, these are the brushes I use. They're also quite stiff, not too stiff of course to where they're gonna break the shadow when you put it in, but they're stiff enough to 
pick up the product and dig in there so you can really pack it onto the lid. You have a bigger one and a smaller one, which is fantastic. And then the last brush is one of the most unique brushes. I have never seen another brush like this. This is the W36. It's really long and then it kind of tapers up to a point and what I like this in particular for is on my cut creases I will kind of redefine the outline of the concealer with that point so this is a very unique brush that's personally what I use it for so definitely if you are interested check this set out but I do have a few brushes that I use every single day as well that I want to talk about so first let's talk about my powder foundation brush you guys know I wear powder foundation to work every day and I use the x57 to apply it. I love how small it is and how it fits in my hand. It is very dense but also soft and it is the perfect brush to pack on and blend out your powder foundation. You can get full coverage with this. You can get a light coverage. It all depends how you use it and how you spread it out but this is an amazing brush. So if you're a powder foundation wearer, you need this. They also have two of my favorite powder brushes. This is the X52. This is probably my all-time favorite blush brush. I just love the way it fits on the cheek. I like an angled brush, but there's something about this rounded blush brush that really does it for me. It's perfect. It's small. You can do a lot of other things with it. You can contour with it. You can kind of buff everything out. You can set the face with it. Really great brush. And then you have the big version of it, which is the, what are you? X51. Again, it's just the bigger version of the X52. For this, I really like it to kind of set my whole face with powder. And then I also really like it for bronzer. Now, what I like about the bristles on these Eason brushes compared to like Sonia G or Wayne Goss is they're not as soft. Like they are soft, they're not gonna scratch you, but they do have a little bit more grab to them where they're gonna grab the powders and pick up a little bit more. I'm not saying one is better than the other, it's just a different experience. They're not scratchy, but they definitely pick up powder better. They're not too soft. And then the last brush that I wanna talk about is the W25. This is, I guess, the even bigger version of the W23. And I use this to blend out concealer on my clients. So I actually don't really use this brush too much by myself, but this is the brush that I use to blend out concealer. I think it's the perfect shape. I don't get any streaks with this brush. Obviously for sanitary purposes, I don't use a sponge. So this is the perfect brush to really blend out liquid or cream concealer. It does a fabulous job. I really like to kind of spread that concealer out over the cheeks to cover that redness as well. Yeah, so this is my concealer brush for my makeup kit. I love it. I have three of them. So that's all I have for Isam, we're gonna move on to blinged brushes. Now the brands that I previously mentioned, they all use animal hair. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to use animal hair brushes. Blinged brushes is one of my favorite synthetic hair companies. So blinged brushes is the brand that I would recommend you go to if you want synthetic hair brushes. If you want these brushes, you have to keep an eye out for their restocks because they are hard to get a hold of. So just a fair warning, they they were kind enough to send me these brushes, but I can't go back. Like these are the best gifts for people. I've been using them every day for the last two months. I can't stop using them and they're the most beautiful brushes ever. So what is special about blinged brushes is that they actually hand jewel these brushes. So these are the beautiful brushes that you see me using collectively. You can display these brushes in like a clear glass. Aren't these absolutely stunning? I cleaned them for you guys for this video because I've been using them nonstop, but I love these. So they have three different collections. So I'm gonna go through the collections and then I'm going to tell you my favorite brushes from the collections. I'm gonna have a giveaway on these, so keep watching till the end and you'll hear about that giveaway. This is the 12 piece Bring on the Bling Silver Collection. Now this is the collection I personally recommend the most for you to pick up because I just like the way the bristles are on these the most. And not only that, but personally the silver handles really just get me going. So uh, if you are a glam girl, like you need a set of these brushes. So my favorite brushes in this collection particularly are the F5. You can purchase the brushes individually or in a set by the way, but the F5 is what I use to set my under eyes or to kind of 
shove away that fallout. It's a super soft brush. Like these are really, these are very high quality brushes and they're not super expensive. These are probably, I think the cheapest of the brushes that I mentioned because this 12 set is $132. But the F5, oh my gosh, is perfect for cleaning up the under eye area. That's personally what I use it for. I use it every day. The F1, I really like as just a setting powder brush everywhere or to blend my bronzer and my blush together. Like, uh, these literally feel like real hair, by the way. I love the E3 because it's a really small blending brush. It's not like a really fat one and I like how it's a little bit more small. It's, again, super soft. So those are my favorite three brushes from this collection. Again, the F5, the F5, F1 and the E3. There are other great brushes in this collection and brushes that you can use with cream products as well, but those three are my favorite. Oh, I almost forgot. F4, also great angled blush brush. So the next collection that they have is the 12 piece Bring On The Bling Rose Gold collection. So the handles on these are actually rose gold with the jeweling on top and then the bristles are pink. These are just as soft, but personally, I feel like there's something about these bristles that grab the powder product a little bit better, but these still are really fantastic. And this set is even cuter because it's a pink top like this set I don't even want to use because it's just so pretty on display, honestly. My most used brushes from this line. We have the E3, which is just that blending brush. Some of the brushes are repeated from the other collection, by the way. So like, I still like the F4 and the F5. Like these are the traditional shapes that I really enjoy. I mean, just so you know, like they do have the same names. They just come from different collections, but here is the F1 from this collection and here's the F1, but as you can, they still are a little bit different. And I feel like the bristles work a little bit different. They're really big fluffy brushes. I really do like, I also, the F2, by the way, is such a unique brush. It's like a flat top brush. I've been using it to blend out cream contour and this look works really good. You just have to make sure that the contour you use is very creamy. And then the last collection that we have is the 13 piece Starry Nights collection. Now this one, if you like the black handles or you like the dark, these are absolutely gorgeous as well. Honestly, this brush collection though has my favorite brushes. I love the shapes of the brushes in this collection the most. My absolute most used brush from all of Blinged Brushes is the F17 here. It's just this, it looks like a really giant, giant blending brush, but I actually have been using this for highlight nonstop. This has been my go-to everyday highlight brush because it's the perfect shape and it has the perfect amount of density to really blend the product out into your skin. Honestly, if you're gonna get one brush from Blinged Brushes, this is my favorite. Also, my favorite bronzer brush from them is the F11. It's that shape where it's a little bit more fanned out, but it still is a pretty fat brush, so you can turn it to give yourself a little bit more of a contour and then if you want more surface area, the way you turn it is how it'll go. And this does a really nice job with bronzer. I really like it. It's a great synthetic haired bronzer brush. Super wonderful. I've been using that quite a lot. F14, another great angled blush brush. This one you get really fat blending brushes. This is the F11 and the F12. I haven't used this one too much. It's really big. The E12 is a really great classic blending brush. Anyways, if you're gonna tell, I really love these brushes. The aesthetic of them is everything. Even if you purchase these for display, like I would not judge you. They are so stunning, a really great company. And if you go on the website, they have a lot of different sets for you to choose from as well. So you don't have to buy the whole collection. You can purchase different bundles, like an eye bundle or like a three piece bundle or you can purchase each of the brushes individually. That's why I wanted to go over some of my favorite individual brushes, but I've been loving those. I think they're stunning. I had to mention them because I love like sparkly things. Um, so Bling Brushes has actually reached out to me and we decided that we are going to do a giveaway. They are so extremely kind. So the winner is going to get to choose a set from Bling Brushes and then they will send them on over. So here are the rules to the giveaway and what you have to do if you want to win a Bling Brushes set. You have to follow me on Instagram, first of all, at Morgan Turner Makeup, because that is how I am going to contact the 
winner. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will know. And then you're gonna come back to this video and you're going to comment down below your Instagram name. And a question that I want you to answer is what is your number one favorite most used face brush and your number one favorite most used eye brush. So again, make sure you're following me on Instagram and of course make sure you're subscribed to me and make sure you're following Blinged Brushes as well on Instagram. Come back to this video, comment your Instagram handle and your two favorite brushes and the giveaway is going to end one week from today, the day that this is posted. I will contact you on Instagram and we will get that moving forward. So really excited about this giveaway. If you aren't sure about the details, I will put them in the description box as well. And yeah, that's super exciting. Thank you Blinked Brushes for working with me on that. So anyways, that is all I have for today's video. I feel like it was kind of a long one, but I could talk about brushes all day. There are so many other brushes that I use that I did not mention in this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.